we're rolling. Welcome to today's video. It's the topic of NIL. That's super interesting and to be honest, not very well understood by um, the mass population of people and people interested in running and college sports. Um, so we're gonna go over everything. We're gonna go over uh, the company we chose, why we chose it, what that means for us, and how that works. Sound like So to start things off, um, what, what is NIL? Um, NIL literally just stands for name, image, and likeness. It basically is just the concept of if you're a well-liked person in the context of, I guess, your sport, but really just in general, and you have a following on social media and stuff like that, as a student athlete in the NCAA, you're able to essentially receive compensation from companies and really anything. You're able to receive compensation for things that you do that are able to be done because of your name, image, and likeness. For example, posting for a company, right? If you're well-liked and people like you and you like, say you like a pair of shoes and you wanna post about it, posting for that company is, um, you can do that and you can get paid by them because of NIL. So it basically just enables student athletes to um, generate an income from their name, image, and likeness with companies that they like. That way they're able to really focus on their sport, focus on their school, and have less factors um, influencing their performance, right? And makes it a little bit easier for them to perform. So that's essentially the concept of it and why it's so great and why it exists. The next topic is what I'm looking for in an NIL contract. So I'm 18 years old, I'm a freshman at Stanford. I run on the track and field and cross country teams. Um, and I love all of that. I'm, I'm, I'm having a great time and I look forward to doing that for quite a bit longer. However, when I'm done with college, I ideally want to run professionally. And what that means is to run professionally, typically you'll sign a contract with a shoe company, right? For me, what a lot of NIL is, is it's kind of like a precursor to that. It's how you set up for your future. And in many respects, NIL can be seen as a, uh, built as a as the foundation for a lasting relationship with a company and typically when you sign NIL usually you'll look to, to um, go pro with a similar company and because I want to go pro eventually um, signing an NIL deal is kind of a, a natural step in that progression for us and it basically enables us to do a lot more while we're in college really really focus on what we're doing we have a lot of the other financial pieces taken care of so then we can really focus on our sport and focus on our school and hopefully be as, be as successful as we can in both of those things. Now for the exciting part, who we actually signed with. And I think probably based off of the jacket I'm wearing, you can tell, but for those of you that don't know, this is On. They're a Swiss company and they're a company that we've worked with in the past. So we've already had a pretty good and really uh, pleasant relationship with the company and now we're taking it that next step further and we've actually signed NIL with On. So that makes us On athletes, still student athletes at Stanford, but and all means besides Stanford were on athletes, which is pretty awesome. And it's a company that we have close connections to, having some family in Switzerland. We've always liked it. We've visited Switzerland. We've seen their headquarters before. It's something that we've been very, very excited to actually move forward with. It's uh, on definitely, like I would say, our dream company to work with. We've always been a huge fan, so it's really cool to actually have them backing us now and having us be, I think, pretty authentic and excited uh, you know, people to back their company. So it should be a pretty beneficial relationship, pretty mutual going both ways. But um, yes, we are very, very excited to be moving forward with NIL with ON. All right, let's do the next step. Yeah. Um, we can do like a little bit of an unstructured stuff post post announcement. Like you can be filming right now. Um, All right, what's happening then, now? I guess I guess you guys are seeing the behind the scenes, and then in a second we'll cut back to the regular view. Unfortunately, one of our oh shoot sorry. We brought both receivers, but one of them died. Mm -hmm. So every time that's well that's one reason why we only have one person in the frame at a time. But it's also it's also um, why I'm switching, I'm putting this on right now is the because is Lex so just good. had the receiver and yeah. it's like orange. 
Now I gotta put it on, but let's see. There we go. So it's like, little Easter egg. It's There's actually a, a this is an on like jacket. It's gonna be shot yes, it is. You could have. So that means you just found out who we signed with like 10 seconds ago. But technically, yeah. you could have known from the start of the video well, if you looked close. Yeah, if you're a real Lex and Leo fan, you would have known by that jacket. Leo, dang. How we doing? Where? That's perfect. Okay, it has to be good focus. I know. I'm gonna go over what this does for us, right, Lex? Okay, perfect. And let's. Okay, so what does this mean for our channel and what does it mean for you guys? Um, honestly, this is huge. I see it as a huge positive thing for the channel. It essentially means that it enables us to make a lot cooler videos because we have the power to go beyond ourselves in terms of the content creation and make some cooler projects. It also means that we're able to potentially film on better equipment. For example, this is a really nice lens that we're filming on, on that we're filming on. This angle, the lens is a lot nicer than the lens on that angle. I don't know if you can tell when we go switch, switch, switch. <laughs> That'll be cool when we actually edit it. But um, I don't know if, if you guys think one looks better than the other. I sure think this lens looks better. And stuff like this means we can uh, shoot with nicer equipment and put out better videos for you guys. It also means that with the ability to make cooler videos and have the ability to uh, automate certain parts or to automate certain parts of the process, we can potentially make more videos. That means that maybe this coming spring we'll be able to put out a video every week or so like we kind of did last year. Because I know a lot of people weren't too happy when the first few months of college we weren't able to put out that many videos. Trust, trust me, we weren't that happy either. Um, we're super happy to be making more videos now. But what else does this do for us? It means that we're gonna get to really get to know some shoes really well. We'll be able to personally recommend them. Um, one thing that we have always said and we will always uphold is that we'll never, we'll, we'll never endorse or push a product on you guys that we don't personally believe in, right? I love on shoes and I've been running them for quite a while. So when, there's, when we were talking to them about doing an NIL deal, there wasn't really that much of a question about it. It was just making sure everything worked well, right? I, I train in their shoes all the time. Our school is Nike, so we race in a lot of Nike shoes. We train in a lot of Nike shoes too. But um, in our free time and stuff, we're able to run in a lot of the on shoes, which is um, really nice. Right now, what are these pairs? Rogers. These are their, they've got their, their, first of all, like on stuff, their shoes, their clothes, it's ever expanding. Um, they're growing rapidly and this is like their first kind of line of casual shoes. These are called the Rogers. Um, I picked a very white pair. I like them a lot. Lex doesn't like, his, like them as much. Ben, show his pair. They're a little bit, he's got a little more color on them. I think I was blabbering a little bit, but to maybe restate, replace certain parts and say it really clearly, what this does for us what the deal does for us and does for you is it means that we are suddenly enabled to make really, really cool content. We're able to put a lot more into the content and we'll hopefully be able to make a lot more content. So these things to me sound like all positives. I'm a guessing, I'm guessing that most of them sound like positive things to you guys too. So we are really excited for, I guess, what this new chapter holds and there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff that comes as a result of it. Um, what are some other maybe potential questions, Lex, that would come up that we could answer at the end of this? Maybe, how, what's your favorite training shoe that you've been running in so far? Yeah, like okay, that's one. great. Actually, yeah, we've talked a lot about the company, we've talked about what it does, but let's get a little bit more specific um, and something fun. Uh, my favorite training shoe that I've tried from on so far, the Cloud Monster. It's definitely the Cloud Monster. I've run so many miles in that shoe. I've used, gone through so many pairs of it. I love that shoe. It seriously is such a great trainer. Um, I think it's technically plated, but it doesn't feel as stiff as some other plated shoes, which I really like because it feels a lot better for kind of everyday stuff. Um, and I've put a lot of miles in that. In addition to that, you guys saw me a lot last year if you followed the channel for a while racing on the on spike. That thing is seriously insane. Um, I really enjoyed racing on that spike and hopefully I get to again sometime, um, which would be super fun. Yeah. But that's and my, the, do you want, do you want, what's your favorite? I was just gonna here? say, and the apparel, which is something that is newer in terms of on since they started as a shoe company, but the apparel is, is pretty darn cool and it's growing at a pretty rapid rate. Yeah. So these are two things that we've tried so far, I've really enjoyed. Uh, it's like, it just, it feels like a very like, High, like it's like a super luxury athleisure type apparel and I really like it, so. Yeah, the apparel is sick. Um, I'm excited to explore their product line. I'm sure you'll see a lot. Well, you'll see us wearing.
Get a shot of me too.